Volvo continues to tell us that its future will be all electric. In the meantime, however, we have vehicles like this, the XC60 Recharge, a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. It has a gas engine and electric power, a PHEV. This one also happens to be very luxurious. Let's take it for a drive today. It's time for Family Wheels. Volvo just might be the European luxury sedan whose drivers most see the brand as a reflection of themselves and vice versa. Its Swedish design outside and in says nice but not overdone. And being different in a good way also differentiates Volvo from its equally tasteful European rivals. Volvo, of course, is controlled by Geely of China, but the owner has wisely kept the brand as Swedish as a plate of Gravlax. The exterior of the XC60 shows no unpleasant surprises, just the careful evolution of Volvo's design language over the years. A higher grille is on trend in the industry, but distinctly Volvo, same with scalloping along the sides, and the firm's SUVs finish with some of the most attractive taillights in the business. You could be forgiven for thinking that Volvo is the Swedish word for classy. With the wood, I believe it's called lime wood, We've got a, a tambour door over top of the cup holder bin and a small bin here, and then the treatment all the way across the dash is just so understated yet elegant. Volvo has a long, long reputation for making comfortable seats. These seats are absolutely excellent. They've got zillion way power adjustments for driver and passenger at this spec at least. And we also have something I really love, which is uh, an adjustable bolster under your legs for those of us who have long legs. Another add-on is massage seats. You can save a fair bit of money by deleting that. Here at the top trim level, we have all the niceties, including a heated steering wheel. Yes, that's my long-standing complaint about Volvo. You have to buy the top trim to get a heated steering wheel. However, the seats are ventilated as well as heated. The rear seats are heated. We have a huge panoramic moonroof, uh, which is a delight. Harman Kardon audio is standard on this particular vehicle. We have a really expensive option of uh, Bowers and Wilkins sound. It's a full suite of Google services on this vehicle. We have a Google voice assistant, the best map implementation I have ever seen. We've got this big screen in front of us uh, to help you out. And we have the uh, Google Play Store, their app store. I've always said that even rich people hate paying high gas prices. But there's more to the story than that. Here we have the PHEV, the EV part is also performance. This is the highest horsepower uh, XC60 that you can buy, a combined 455 horsepower. It's about power. And there's plenty of it. Thanks to a good sized battery, 18.8 kilowatt hours, uh, the XC60 Recharge has pretty decent range for a PHEV, 58 kilometers or 36 miles. And you can do most of a day's driving on that unless you've got a long commute. If you say have uh, the full EV distance, 58K, 36 miles used up on your way into work, well, then you got to find a place to plug in in order to get home on electric propulsion. One of the options you can add to the XC60 Recharge is air suspension. It is pricey, but I recommend it. Let's go down our neighborhood bumpy road. Patches, potholes, speed bumps. Takes it all in stride. Just for fun, let's take the XC60 Recharge down an unpaved road as we head into a local park. It does very well. Well, I guess if you raise the air suspension and put it into off-road mode, maybe you could do a little soft roading. Now, I don't know if it's the suspension inherently or the air suspension or the ridiculous 22-inch rims we've got on this thing, but the XC60 Recharge handles rather well. There's one notable downside to the XC60 Recharge, and I've said this about some other PHEVs as well, and that is the rate at which it can take in 
electricity. It's only in the range of about three kilowatts, which is bog slow. My home charger puts out more than seven kilowatts and the current ones have more than 11 kilowatts of, of output. Some PHEVs can take in electricity at a higher rate. This one does not. There are five drive modes and three types of battery usage on the XC60 Recharge. Right now we're in hybrid. You can go to power, which leaves the engine running all the time. Uh, pure electric, which uses up uh, just the, the EV as much as possible. If you nail the uh, throttle pedal, the engine will still come on. There's an off-road mode and then constant all-wheel drive. Say when it's snowy or icy, you can hit that button. Then we have battery usage. You can put it on a setting called charge in which case the engine is working a little harder to put some electrons back in the battery. Or there's auto, which is a very nice set it and forget it mode. You don't have to fiddle with anything. Well, this is a surprise. Even though the XC60 is in the middle of the Volvo SUV range, we've got a fail on the Family Wheels child seat test. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 180 centimeters. Behind me, the kind of child seat that takes up the most room rear facing, and I can't get in the car. So my suggestion is if you're going to put a child seat back there, it better be a forward facing one. Now with the front seat set up for me, there's plenty of room in the rear, lots of knee room. As for niceties, we have heated seats, two USB-C outlets, and this lovely panoramic moonroof. That's our look at the 2023 Volvo XC60 Recharge. Is it your kind of luxury PHEV? Leave a comment. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. I'm Richard Detman, and I'll see you next time on Family Wheels.